The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Diversified miner Exaro has unveiled the first of three water treatment plants designed to mitigate underground water storage constraints, protect scarce natural resources and ensure the safety of mine workers. Natasha Urdendahl tells us more. Exaro's new 250 million Robert Clark water treatment plant at the underground Matla Coal Mine in Mapumalanga is the start of Exaro's holistic group-wide water management strategy. The modular plant will be fully operational by the end of May, with the water pumping prioritized in the region's earmarked for mining in the next five years. This would help Exaro mitigate the significant water ingress experienced at the mine that heightens flooding risks, which also threatens the safety of mine workers and increases the potential risk of environmental contamination. Exaro Coal Financial Performance Group Manager Melis Walker tells us more. We've uh, embarked upon a whole water management strategy and uh, this is the first plant that we're actually opening um, supporting that strategy. Uh, when you're in mining you're in water and uh, water is a critical resource and uh, we have a lot of water that we need to deal with. So from a treatment point of view the idea is that uh, the water that we have in our workings we will treat, make it uh, usable either in our own operations or in the community or downstream on the Olifants River. From a Matla point of view, we're going to get up to 10 megalitres and that should uh, suffice for the current needs that we have. It is a modular plant, so we can add additional modules should the need arise for additional volumes. But we are busy with the studies at Arnott, our um, close by uh, uh, operation, as well as uh, North Block Complex, which is near Belfast. So there we will be running a pilot plant at the moment, which will also lead to another water treatment plant in the future. Other news making headlines this week, the Coca-Cola bottling company reduces its water use by 70% over five years. Beverage bottling company Amalgamated Beverage Industries, the largest manufacturer and bottler of Coca-Cola products in the Southern Hemisphere, has succeeded in reducing the water required to produce beverages across its five plants by some 70% over the last five years. We use 70% of the water now that we used to use five years ago. So our ratio five years ago was roughly 2.5 litres of water in to produce one litre of beverage. We now use 1.7 litres of water in to produce the same litre of beverage. Energy savings, we use less than half the energy we did uh, five years ago. This is a function of um, changes in consumer preference and pack mix, but we've been very aggressive from the the basic technology that everybody's implying, such as low energy lighting, um, heat pumps uh, for hot water, turning off geysers where we don't need them. We have gone way beyond that to process heat recovery. Uh, with our flagship project in our Phoenix plant, we've managed to completely turn off the coal-fired hot water systems and we are using heat pump technology to recover heat from our ammonia system where we require heating. I think the biggest thing we've done though is focus on our high usage of high pressure air and um, this is a very high proportion of our net energy usage. Um, PET blowing even up to a few years ago the benchmark was around 32 to 33 bars um, injection pressure on the high pressure blowers. We average at the moment around 23 to 24 bars with a goal of getting down to 17 bars. We've developed some technology with one of our OEMs and have achieved as low as 14 bars in laboratory testing. It's difficult to commercialize as low as that but the principle has been proven. We've been working with industry players for a good few years now trying to get on board with a partner. Um, the work has taken us from Bangladesh to California looking at recycling plants and recycling systems um, and impact our long-term partners of ours um, and they, provide, they supply our preforms. So it's a natural extension of that relationship to partner with them and leverage on their 
competence in the waste recycling business, specifically around the collection of paper and other commodities that they collect. We've worked with them on a pricing model that gives them a secure revenue stream for at least five years. Uh, we've uh, got a model in place that gives us just short of, as a minimum commitment, 50% of their capacity with an option to extend that. Um, and we're going to need to work really closely with them in taking the initial um, resin that comes off and commercializing that at 10%, 20% and 30%, uh, potentially even up to 40%. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.